Welcome again to our daily devotional series as we're looking at the prophecy from Jeremiah and calling this a relevant prophet as we see how his message to God's people then and his messages to Jeremiah and what's happening to Jeremiah now that applies to us as God's people today. Today's devotional may be well, a little bit shorter than normal because I want us to look at one verse. Jeremiah 18 and verse 18. Jeremiah 18 and verse 18. Then they, the people of Judah, then they said, Come, let us devise plans against Jeremiah. Surely the law is not going to perish from the priest, nor counsel to the wise man, nor the divine word to the prophet. Come on, let us strike at him with our tongue. Let us give no heed to any of his words. As we've looked through Jeremiah, Jeremiah's message to God's people has been, you need to change. You're listening to lies. You're listening to false prophets. You're listening to comforting words when what you need to hear are words of warning and words of danger. With the words from God. And the people have tried to stop Jeremiah from speaking. And here we see it again. Let's devise the plan against him. Let's not listen. Let's make fun of him. Let's ridicule him. How is this relevant? Well, it's relevant, I think, in two simple ways, and we'll leave it here. One, sometimes we attack the messenger instead of the message. Maybe this is a personal one for me as a minister, as one who, who speaks and talks about the things of God. Sometimes those of us who do that feel like people attack us when what we're trying to do is just share what God says. And sometimes when the message attacks and the message is strong, then, then we react, and sometimes we react against, instead of against God, which we're scared to do, or instead of changing, which is what we need to do, we react against the messenger. Jeremiah is facing that. But the other part of that is what they're going to do to Jeremiah. We're going to make fun of him. We're not going to listen to him. Isn't that the way the world treats Christians? When we try and we do stand up for what's right and we speak what we understand to be right from God's word, the world looks at us and says, you silly people. We're not going to listen to you because we have all this message of here that tells us what we're doing is okay. And if you stand up and you say this is not okay, well, then you're, you're wrong and you're old-fashioned and you're restrictive and you're whatever. They, they, they throw these words at you. They call you prudish. They're attacking the messenger and not letting the message change them. Let's be bold. Let's be revolutionary. And let's be the messengers of God's truth, no matter what the world says against us. Let's go to God in prayer. Dear God, we thank you for your word. We thank you for truth. And Father, sometimes the message that you have given us is, is harsh to us. Harsh because... It speaks against the things that that we want to do. It speaks against the things of the world. And Father, help us to be strong. Help us to be courageous to stand and to do right. And help us to be courageous to speak up in the right way, in the right tone, and when the time is right. And Father, when people ridicule us for the message that we give that is your message, help us to reflect on your prophets. Help us to make sure what we're saying is really from you and really your word. But then help us to have the strength, the courage to stand strong. Thank you for Jesus who stood strong for us. And it is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you again for joining me and allowing me to join you. As always, I do look forward to these. And as always, until the next time we're together, my prayer is that God will bless your day.